guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. You guys are my first um, video that I'm making for the 12 zodiac signs, so um, you're setting the standard for the rest of the videos. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here uh, in terms of a layout. We're going to do a twin flame reading. Um, so I think I'm just going to pick random cards here, and then we'll pick one card per position. So this is going to be a, this is Dorian Virtue. So Aquarius, fun with friends, this is your likes, fun with friends, helping others, fighting for causes, intellectual conversations, a good listener. So yeah, I'm, I'm learning the signs as we go, and uh, we'll see what happens from there. All right, so this is going to be the past position. Okay. And thank you guys for your support. I love you guys to death. Okay, so this is going to be um, from John Holland, Psychic Tarot. I'll use this for the present position. Okay, and let's use, call it Baron Reed. Wisdom of the Oracle. You know, I'm being guided to use this as a final outcome, so let's pull the cards. And why not? Let's use the other John Holland, um, Psychic Tarot of the Heart for the near future. Okay, so what are your dislikes? Limitations, broken promises, being lonely, dull or boring situations, people who disagree with them. Okay. And I think for the union energy, we will use, call it Baron Reed Enchanted Map. So this is what each aspect is bringing into the union. Okay, and I'll use Fairy by Lenormand for the foundation and for the crowning. And let's see, let's use my deck for the heart centered energy. Um, the Osho Zen deck. This will be the overall energy, and I think we'll start with this to begin with. I'll read it to you. Okay. So let me give my little deck here a shuffle as well. So I'll be using these for clarifiers. All right, let's begin. So the Osho Zen card. This is the overall energy for the month of April. Wow, the Knight of Cups. So it says trust here. Beautiful. Okay. Now is the moment to be a bungee jumper, without a cord, 
end, it is this quality of absolute trust with no reservations or secret, or, yeah, secret safety nets that the night of water demands from us. There is a tremendous sense of exhilaration if we can take the jump and move into the unknown, even if the idea scares us to death. And when we take trust to the level of the quantum leap, we don't make any elaborate plans or preparations. We don't say, okay, I trust that I know what to do now, and I settle my things and pack my suitcase and take it with me. No, we just jump with hardly a thought for what happens next. Uh, the leap is a thing, the thrill of it. We, we free fall through the empty sky. The car gives us a hint here, th though, about what waits for us on the other end. A soft, welcoming, yummy, pink, rose petal, juicy, come on. So basically this person is taking a leap. They're not thinking about anything and they're just falling into this cloud of pink goodness. Um, so, you know, in the Rider weight deck, uh, the Knight of Cups is the Knight in Shining Armor. Um, so this is movement towards love. It is also a longing for that loving connection, but it is wanting to make a commitment. So you are going to be in this trusting, gentle, fluffy energy for this month of April. Okay, so let's move on. So beginning with the feminine side, I mean, this is kind of a general reading. It's for all Aquarius. So you can be either side, yin or yang, um, whichever resonates with you the most. So this is the yin side feminine and the masculine on the other side. Okay, so in the past position for the feminine, the emperor. So stability and efficiency take charge of the situation, ambitious plans. So the emperor is the divine masculine, yang. He is in charge. He is the leader. He, um, you know, he makes plans, take, takes action. He is a protector, the provider. And so we, hear, we see here that the feminine has either stepped into this energy of the emperor or um, has had some kind of contact with the emperor um, recently. So I'm actually going to pull, you know what, I think I'm going to do this an extended reading. So I'll use this deck here that I've already shuffled for the feminine side and then I've got my original painted cards here and I'll use that deck for the masculine side. So I'm going to pull a past, present and future card for each position. All right. Six of Swords. The Emperor again. And the King of Pentacles. Interesting. So the Six of Swords in the past position, this is movement to calmness, movement to a calm, calmer state of mind. It is making a decision to move away from en negative energy, negative people. So there might have been some arguments, um, finger pointing, um, you know, someone trying to win at all costs, and you felt like you just had enough, right? So you moved on to a calmer state. So the present past position here is the yang. So it's the same card. So in the past, you've moved away from a situation. And as a result, po possibly the masculine energy has made his presence known. Um, or you became this emperor energy. We'll see what the rest of the reading says. I might even pull an extra clarifier for that. Okay, so the king of pentacles is in the future position. So, you know, he is also the protector, the provider. Um, he is somebody who is financially stable. Um, and he wants to provide a safe home. But he doesn't place a lot of importance on the material world. He wants, you know, his family to be looked after first. So this could represent an earth sign coming in the future. But I feel this strong need to be protected or looked over or, um, you know, it's like the masculine 
is coming towards you possibly in the 3d as a, this divine entity now the major energy is the emperor right so yeah let me pull one more clarifier this one's got me for a little stump here okay so i got a little deck here that has some words written on it stop already okay unchained unchained interesting so the emperor get, gets his strength from being his true authentic self, right? His power comes from authenticity. And he is unchained. He is like a lion, right, amongst the sheep. So it's a very powerful extroverted energy, unchained. Okay, and the king of pentacles is also someone who is unchained, unlimited, uh, in terms of, you know, the 3D reality. He can attain whatever he wants. Uh, anything he touches turns to gold like the Midas touch. So, well, let's continue on. Unchained. This very well could be the feminine's energy. You know, because we got that Six of Swords walking away is like being unchained. Okay, so the masculine's past position, the High Priestess. Interesting. Okay, so powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information, be at peace. Okay, so the high priestess is somebody who has, you know, intuitive ability. They can, they have foresight. They can predict people's behaviors. Um, they are also able to see through illusions. Okay, and when they quiet their mind and go within, they are able to find solutions and seek answers to, you know, unanswered questions. So the masculine in last week's twin re reading, actually it's going to be for the first to the seventh um, of April. So it pertains to this energy right now. Um, the masculine was really becoming intuitive. He's being guided by his intuition towards the twin flame connection. So we can see this kind of playing out here. Very cool synchronicity. So I'm going to pull three cards. The Eight of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Four of Swords. So the Eight of Swords in the past position, he was in a mental prison. Um, he felt locked out. And you can see that also in the twin flame connection and, and how he viewed the relationship. He felt locked out. So the Three of Cups tells me that there's resolution to that, that there's a celebration um, of a love, right? Um, the Three of Cups is two people coming together to create a third energy, which is love. So it's an activation, an ignition. So it's this love that wells up and bubbles up within um, to the point where you want to celebrate with your friends and, you know, you're just happy to be alive and in love. So this is celebration with tribe, your vibe tribe. So he was released from this mental state by using his intuition as a high priestess. Um, the future position, we have the four of swords, which is a movement to a calm state of mind, very similar to the six of swords. But this is a retreat after the three of swords, which is heartbreak. So this means that the masculine has retreated in order to heal his heart in order to make some decisions about the 3d reality so overall i see this beautiful progression of um you know healing after a dark period of time um as a result of you know his intuitive ability he's really tapping into his third eye chakra so this could be meditation as well Okay, so in the present position for the feminine, three of swords, wow, heartache and loss. So, you know, this is having your heart broken, and it's, it's words, it's thoughts. Okay, so let's pull three cards. The Hermit, or the Philosopher, Inception, or Zero Point, and the Grand Awakening. So, three major arcanas. The philosopher in the past position, this is somebody who seeks aloneness, okay? And we kind of felt that energy there, retreating um, and finding your power, you know, your masculine yin power. Because the, the philosopher is 
it doesn't necessarily have to be a masculine energy, but I usually sense that it's more of a masculine energy that they're taking on. So the philosopher detaches. He is unchained. He detaches from the 3D reality and seeks aloneness, solitude, in order to make some decisions. So this energy has retreated, but it's from a spiritual place. He's seeking wisdom, not because he's trying to avoid somebody or hurt somebody. Okay, so then we have zero point, uh, which is the fool card in the present position. So this is taking a leap of faith, um, trusting in destiny, not having any expectations or attachments. So we kind of felt that also in the Twin Flame reading, so you might want to watch that. Um, so it's, again, a sense of unchained, free from attachments which doesn't make too much sense with this Three of Swords staring us in the face. Now, the future position is the Grand Awakening card. Um, so this is reevaluating your life so that you can make decisions. It's realizing that your entire life has been an illusion and so that you can create a new reality. So we see this period of inaction, being ready to take a leap of faith. Uh, and we also felt that energy back here as well. And, you know, your overall energy, remember, um, is the Knight of Cups. And remember what I read, it's all about leaping and not thinking, right? And so that's what the Fool card is about as well. So there is a period of uh, contemplation, reevaluation um, while you're in this solitude, but your heart is breaking. Um, maybe you're making some realizations that hurt or um, maybe you've had to leave somebody behind in order to seek solitude and that's hurting your heart. So again, we'll continue on and see what the rest of the cards show us. Okay, so the present position for the masculine is, wow, the high priestess again, intuition, bam. Same card, okay? So he's still in this intuitive state using his third eye chakra, um, allowing his senses to guide him. And here, you know, in both cards, there's this door to the subconscious mind, and um, the high priestess is the guardian. She has all the answers, you know, that are locked away in our dreams and our. Um, in our thoughts, the way we speak, our behaviors. You know, if you watch closely to someone's behavior and the way they speak, you can pick up signs um, about their character and, and, you know, and have foresight about, you know, where that road is going to lead them. Okay, so three cards. Wow, the 11-11 card. Cool synchronicity. King of Swords. And the Ten of Cups. Oh my gosh. So, further confirmation, you know, that this twin flame connection has been realized in the past. And he, he has this deep knowing, this clarity about how the future will arrive as the Ten of Cups, the happily ever after. So, Confirmation, twin flame connection. He knows uh, who his twin flame is. He's being intuitively guided in the present. Um, the present card, present, present card is the King of Swords. So this could be air sign, um, which, you know, is the Aquarius, right? Um, or it could be another air sign if you're feminine. But the King of Swords is somebody who has mental clarity. They are quick thinkers. They, again, make decisions. They take action. Uh, but they're the master communicator as well. So what I feel here is this crystal clarity with the intuitive knowing about this connection. The future position is the Ten of Cups. So this is the happily ever after. It's a completion. And, you know, so this is also peace, harmony within your family, within, you know, at your work, all areas of your life. Everyone's getting along. No one's fighting. So I feel him being drawn to this 11-11 connection in the future. He knows 
this is going to bring him ultimate happiness. So I'm just going to pause the video for a moment to clear my throat. I'm still getting over the flu. So should I flip the cards? No, you'll have to trust that I won't mess with the cards. All right, just one moment. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so what should we do here? Um, I think, yeah, okay, we'll move into the near future, and then I'm going to leave the final outcome for later. Okay, so the near future for the feminine is the Seven of Swords. Seek the truth. So we have a progression here from the six to the seven, um, but also regression in the present moment with the Three of Swords. But this is all mental stuff, eh? So in the present posi position, we have this feminine who's closed off. She's got, she's in this cave, right? Um, there's a sense of cold clamminess, um, you know, heartbreak. And then in, this, in the uh, Seven of Swords, we have Seek the Truth. So it's a feminine who has opened up her soul. She's seeking clarity. Right, so it definitely fits with the other cards. All right, so let's see what the clear. Wow, eleven, eleven, yeah, <laughs> three of one. Oh, I was gonna say I should have shuffled again, but again, you'll have to trust me. Nice, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so the eleven, eleven card coming in the past position, cool synchronicity. Um, so you felt this divine connection with the masculine in the past um, and it feels like you've been waiting on this precipice um, or has have retreated from the masculine in order to make some decisions for yourself but it has led to some heartache and pain and now it's time to heal that that pain so the three wands is in the present position. So look at that, you know, excitement, enthusiasm. You're getting a big thumbs up from the um, the universe. So there's definite um, encouragement that you will discover from the universe in the near future, having to do with the 1111 connection that will lead to this offer or this gemination of um, a new beginning. Uh, with the Ace of Pentacles here. So even though you you may be experiencing some heartache and pain in the present, um, the near future, you are opening yourself up to the healing, which opens yourself to this twin flame connection and a new beginning surrounding it. Okay, so let me just give these a quick shuffle. Oh, oh felt weird. Okay. And the high priest just jumped out. All right, so the near future. Bay chakra. So this is a feeling of safety, security, uh, feeling like your needs have been met. Now it's a number one, so it's the lowest chakra. The seven of cups, the five of pentacles, and the magician, nice. So the seven of cups past position, this is having a lot of options available. They're all, they all seem great, but you don't know which one to choose. Okay, so there's confusion. Um, this is also knowing what you want, not knowing how to get there. So you're in this cloud, okay, and you realize that something needs to change with the Five of Pentacles. So this is um, detachment. It is feeling left out in the cold, alone which further amplifies that base chakra in the background. So this is also a sacrifice that you may have made in order to gain your freedom, right? There's this unchaining sub theme that seems to be happening in the reading. Now in the future we have the magician, 
which is another one. So this is a positive activa activation. This is the, the crown chakra activated. This is focus, attention, control in order to manifest your reality, to make your dreams a reality. So in the near future, the masculine may have to make a decision that creates instability in his 3D environment, may cause him to feel left out, like he has no help, confused. But ultimately he gets, you know, the light goes off with the magician. He knows what to do. And he's, he steps into this powerful role as a magician to manifest his reality. All right, so let's move into the union energy. So what is the feminine bringing in to the union? Wow, encouragement. So very similar energy here, right? I, I, always, get, I always get that same vibration um, with this card. You know, very similar to the three wands. So let me just grab the book for that and let's read it. And it's the last card in this deck as well. You are receiving a nudge in the right direction. This card tells that you're being gently encouraged to step into your power, into your dream of your life. New things are out there uh, to be explored and the nurturing power of the universe is giving you a nudge in the right direction. You will get the help you need and won't be alone on your quest. Every step you take right now is supported by the wisdom of the universe. You are on the right path, keep going. So this energy is what you're bringing into the union, encouragement. You may not feel that way in the present moment, but for the rest of the month, you know, this is going to be at the beginning of April, but for the rest of the month, that vibration gets really exciting, really exciting and then you start reflecting that into um, the union. So encouragement, beautiful. The Ten of Wands, the Magician, Wow, the Four of Wands in the future, awesome. So the Ten of Wands is burden, tossing and turning at night, um, just having too much responsibility. It's passing the finish line and then realizing you still have so much more work to do. You're committed to too much. So this is collapsing and exhaustion. So in terms of the union, you gave up in the past. You, And it's not because you wanted to, it's because you couldn't carry on. So that's the reason for that retreat, okay? However, in the present position, you are the magician, the master manifester, crown chakra activation, power, control, um, vision, right? So, you know, imagine all these sparks going off. This is a vibration you're sending to the union. And you may also be getting synchronistic signs because the 1111 <clears throat> card is coming in from the past on your side as well as his, but yours is more the near future present, right? So there's this activation, this, this clarity, this vision, um, and it could be due to the 1111 card. You might see synchronicities, okay, which ultimately leads to the Four of Wands, which is um, my other card that I use to confirm Twin Flame Connections, right? The 1111 fire. So this is commitment. This is, um, you know, the twins getting married, buying a home, feeling like they've arrived, but yet they have their whole life spread out before them. So this is what you're reflecting, feminine, into the union for the next month, which ultimately leads, leads to true love. That's so beautiful. Okay, so what is the masculine bringing in? Wow, mountain. So he's overcoming challenges. That's why he's in that deep, reflective state. There is something that he needs to overcome. Um, which he does do so because he's activating the magician and the Ten of Cups is in the future. Okay, so let me read that. You have the capacity to flow around any obstacle. This is a time to adapt. Sometimes you'll come across what appears to be an insurmountable obstacle, like a huge mountain that separates you from your success. You might think that climbing it or chiseling away at it is the answer, but why take such treacherous, tedious, 
approach. Be like the river that flows around mountains naturally. You'll move past this obstacle relatively quickly if you choose the easy way around. This is a time to adapt to your circumstances. If you decide to climb, remember to take one step at a time, opting for the next right action. Okay, so this is the energy that you're bringing in, masculine, is feeling like um, your happiness is on the other side of that mountain. And so you are moving into this flow, right? You're surrendering and just allowing the current to take you. And that's, um, that's coming from the high priestess energy. Uh, high priestess is a yin. So it's all about receptivity and surrendering, allowing things to come to you. So let's pull three cards. The Ace of Pentacles again. Um, the Six of Pentacles, nice. And the High Priestess again in the future. Oh my gosh. What I'm seeing here um, is the Yin is taking on the masculine Yang and the Yang is taking on the um, feminine yin through the high priestess and um, through the empress on the feminine side. So the line between yin and yang seems to be really blurry um, in the um, yang reading that I did just recently. So you might want to check that out as well. Okay, so um, the Ace of Pentacles in the past position, so this is a seed of intention being planted taking root it's also a gift from the universe it's abundance the windfall card so you felt that this union masculine was a gift from the universe that there's that seed that was planted in the past the 1111 card um and in the present moment not only is it grown to the six of pentacles but you're feeling very receptive uh um this is reciprocation card it's also a cohabitation card but it's giving and receiving so we got these hands of giving right this one has a key this one has uh money right so there's a sharing energy a gift and a growing so in terms of the union although you feel that there are major challenges you have to overcome you're you're good for it you want to put the work in um you feel that growth there and you you're feeling optimistic about it because of the fact that you are sur you're surrendering to it and allowing it to, you know, yourself to flow around that mountain. So high priestess again in the future, every single position so far has the high priestess activated. So I just see this as you still continuing to be that yin energy and flowing, right? Allowing that current to take you. Okay. So what is at the um, foundation? is number 22 so I, this is about crossroads okay so you have two paths one leads towards the sun the other leads towards the moon so choices and decisions so this is a house of making decisions and acting upon them and considering the long-term implications of these choices it can, however, be a, a case of the road less traveled that turns out to be the best one. There is no right or wrong way. You must choose your way. Um, you will just take your pick and you cannot go both ways at once. I hate the way this person writes. It always stumbles me. Okay, so basically, you know, as a shared energy foundation, both aspects um, have had to make a choice. Okay, and we see that choice, the Six of Swords, leading to heartbreak but eventually leading to healing um, over here the choice is being made and guided by the intuition and I see that choice activation with the magician on both sides you know it's boom mental clarity I know what to do and I'm gonna manifest and eventually you come together right even though you might take different paths you always end up um, at the same place. So one card for the feminine, the page of fire and the masculine queen of pentacles. Okay. So what I'm seeing at the end of the road is the queen of pentacles. Um, the earth energy that is being represented over here on the feminine side in the future. So 
this could be the two of you coming together in the 3D reality. It's like he made a choice to make this dream manifested into the 3D. She's all about abundance, harvest. Um, again, she's financially stable, right? So there's that, that desire to be with the feminine in the 3D, create this beautiful home um, with the feminine. So the feminine side is bringing in the page of fire. So both court cards, um, but the, the page is more starting an adventure, okay? So the feminine also made that decision to follow a path that's going to lead to great things. You can see this excitement on this person's face, right? And you can also feel that vibration of encouragement and excitement um, throughout the entire reading. So you can see where that comes from. So the page is beginning a new adventure, something that's more aligned with your spirituality, and you can see where it's going to lead. Um, it's an aha moment, epiphany, good, great news, great communication. Okay, so as a crowning energy, we have, wow, commitment, the ring. Wow. So you both want commitment. <laughs> Crazy. Four of Wands. Ten of Cups, commitment, both sides, congratulations. So the ring, the ring gives the house the sense of seeing the, sealing the deal. It is a house of the pledge and shines out into the card above it and around it. Um, it is a sense of commitment, a cause, a bond, an oath, um, and it could be a promise to oneself. So contract, marriage, are an agreement, oath, and commitment. Yeah, so this is a crowning energy that both aspects desire is commit, commitment coming together. So the base chakra for the feminine and the nine of wands. So the nine of wands is one less than the Ten of Wands. And the Feminine had the Ten of Wands in the past. So this is a feeling of being on the spiritual path, of being beaten down time and time again, right? And you're, you're so you're the wounded warrior. You feel like giving up, but you still have that strength, that power to give it a final push. So I feel that for the masculine, you know, they've, they've been wanting this for a long time and they've been fighting for it for a long time. Um, and they're wounded, right? They they want to reach that point of commitment. The base chakra for the feminine. So the base chakra showed up twice. So the feminine wants to feel safe, secure, that there is this commitment and that's going to last long term. Um, you know, and she also wants to provide that sense of safety and home uh, and commitment to the, the masculine. You know, in the near future, the masculine's getting that base chakra, you know, not feeling safe. And so the feminine may be wanting to give that energy, you know, make a commitment so that he does feel safe. Okay, so what is at the heart for both sides is, wow, the Nine of Swords. I wasn't expecting that to be there. So at the heart of the matter, for the next, you know, for April, there's a sense of both aspects being in the mind in the you know um, the mental space here we have the eight of swords on the masculine side in the past progressing to the nine of swords but he's moving into a calmer state of mind with the four of swords same thing with the feminine side we have that opening um, clearing that mental trash right so that you can have that clarity okay so one card for the feminine wow transformation card and the five of wands so I'm saying, wow, because the feminine had this card as a major energy for the twin flame reading. So the message was to allow transformation to happen, right? Detach yourself, unchain yourself, heal that broken heart, allow that healing to happen. Don't fight it. So that's very cool. The feminine is coming out of that mental space. She's not going to worry about things anymore. The nine of swords is nightmares, night terrors, inability to sleep, stabbing thoughts, right? But the nine is nearing the completion of that. So 
the masculine is bringing in the five of wands. So it's a, you know, disagreeing of opinion, opinion. It's obstacles and challenges, but they're minor obstacles, minor challenges. And we can see that mountain there, right? And so this is what he's bringing into the heart space. It's like, I know this is my true twin flame, but I don't know how to make it happen. I'm confused. I don't know how to overcome this, right? But the key is that the intuition is driving him always and that's how he's clearing that energy okay so the final outcome for the feminine side observer interesting i'm going to pull the masculine as well never ending story nice okay so 49 Okay, so perspective, objectivity, neutral observation from a distance. So the message is sometimes you just can't see the forest through the trees, for the trees, in your way. Feelings can get all jumbled up and often you hear one thing when a person says another. It can be like an echo of an unresolved past experience dubbed over by your conversation. Take time out before you react. It's likely the other person has no idea how his or her words have affected you. Take a few steps back and lend understanding to the situation. Have faith in the connection and trust. There's that trust word again. And trust that you can come together. Take the higher ground now and cultivate curiosity about what you observe in yourself, in others, and in the landscape. You will find things much improved sooner than you know. And that taking the high ground also came up with this 22 card at the foundation, right? And and also the page of wands taking the high, down, high ground being optimistic. And same thing with the fool. There's this new beginning, this journey that is about to take place. It's at the beginning stage and it's leading to the four of wands. Um, so as a final outcome, um, you are surrendering and seeing things with absolute clarity okay so let's see what the confirmation cards are six of pentacles nice five of swords okay and nice ace of wands so six of pentacles the reciprocation card so there is this energy of the masculine being receptive right and you're picking up on that so this is the two of you coming together even exchange of energy flowing but you're you're observing this energy. Now the five of swords is mental noise, conflict. Remember I said finger pointing. Okay, so these thoughts may creep in. Stuff from the past that may, might make you question somebody's motives. Um, but ultimately you clear that energy and it moves into the ace of wands, which is new beginning, spark of inspiration, the go like go time. So there's this um, inaction, non-movement throughout your side of the reading and then boom, the go light, go time as a final card. Very freaking cool. So trust is the key word. Trust that everything's going to work out. Don't close yourself off. Open yourself up. Don't let a, that mental noise pull you back into the Six of Swords again. Okay, so the final outcome for the masculine is 37. All right, so self-criticism, the wounded ego, unnecessary dramas. So the oracle message, there's a story woven through the imperfect the imperfect fabric of your life that tells of hurt and loss, rejection and humiliation, self-loathing and arrogance, and all manner of suffering born of unnecessary drama. It is the old story whose refrain is that you cannot do this, you must not go there, should not say that, lest your world come crumbling down. So I'm actually going to stop because that was the oracle message. I'm going to skip to the relationship message. Sometimes your heart enters in, into a contract with another that results in pain, not because of abuse or neglect, but for the other, more complex reason. 
shame, fear of intimacy, and low self-esteem are the greatest challenges to the success of relationship. Consider how valuable this knowledge is. However, right now you have an opportunity for important healing, but you must reflect on the stories you weave about love, connection, abandonment, rejection, and loneliness. Not only do you need to begin a new story, you need to forgive yourself for telling yourself the old ones. Have compassion for the part of you that believes all the narratives. None of them were ever true anyway. So as a final outcome, you clear this energy from the past um, and open yourself up to new beginnings with the magician. Right? So rele releasing yourself from that mental prison once and for all. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards. No way. The Ace of Wands again. Wow, the Ace of Swords and the Hermit in the, in the future. So the Ace of Wands, cool synchronicity, go light, go time, new beginning, spark of inspiration. So a light goes off. Double whammy with the Ace of Swords. This is mental clarity, decision made, um, communication, and it is also a triumphant card as well, a successful card. Whatever decisions you make, whatever ideas you have at that time will have success. So we got an 11 here. And then 7, 8, 9, 10. Actually, sorry, I thought that was an 11 as well. Um, but it reduces down to 1. The Hermit in the future position, as I mentioned earlier before with the feminine, the Hermit is somebody who seeks aloneness. Okay, so what I feel here is that you make a decision to start a new life you'd leave the past behind and you unchain yourself but you embark on a spiritual journey to find your light within and once you find that light within you come back and you share your wisdom with others but i see here this monumental moment of clarity and a decision to start a new life okay so I'm gonna pull two cards from this mermaid so this will be the final messages from the universe stop for the feminine mermaid with floating flowers and the masculine autumn mermaid so that again reflects that feeling of things ending and not working out So I'll read the feminine first here. Mermaid with floating flowers. When the temporal blooms uh, strewn reverently across my heart are my only signs of triumph, it makes me wonder, really wonder, whether they were childish whims or solemn from the start. An intense mermaid lies in a pond, hiding behind offerings of beautiful flowers strewn into her watery realm. Okay, so I see where this is going. She is resistant to the accolades and distrustful of her admirers despite their authenticity and sincerity. So there's that Five of Swords. I was wondering where that was coming from. So the message is, you will soon be honored and recognized. Okay, so your accomplishments will soon be acknowledged. There is no need to be shy. You have earned the acclaim and deserve to be recognized. You may feel the need to question the rewards or motives of those who seek to recognize you for what you have done. But no worry, the attention is genuine, the esteem is sincere. You have accomplished a great deal in the past that was never recognized. This explains your reluctance to accept the goodwill and well-wishers now. But now it is a time to open yourself up to the praise and allow it to heal the part of you that has been neglected for so long. Embrace being a success, a hero, or the award winner without letting it embarrass you or go to your head. Well, maybe just a little. Very cool. And there's that encouragement, that excitement, you know, over and over and over again in the reading. And you don't know if you can trust it, but you can. Okay, so number 31.
As Mother Nature sheds her autumn frock, preparing for her snowy cloak, she casts away the finery of handsome maple and hardy oak. As seasons change, so must I, subject to the climate, climes extreme. Yet I cannot help but long for warmer days and sunny streams. A melancholy mermaid, deep in thought, lies in a pond beneath the shedding tree in autumn. She weaves gently as the leaves tumble down, a sign of cooler temperatures and less vibrant times are ahead. Um, natural change is coming is the message. Change is inevitable. We're all expo exposed to the cyclical patterns of nature. At times we rejoice, at times we buckle down to prepare for harsher weather to come. It can be easy to wallow in self-pity, pining for the warmth of the light of the summer. But colder, darker days will come, and it is important to brace yourself for them, but also to embrace them. Be prepared for the natural change that might seem negative on the surface, if anticipated appropriately. This change may be, the, may be a pleasure when embraced. Each season of our lives brings joy, sorrow, new activities, and duties. Preparation is key. Look ahead to what nature is bringing you and busy yourself with plans. Okay, so um, we feel that feeling of detachment, being alone, left out in the cold, right? And that's what make, you know, causes the masculine to make that decision to leave the past behind and pursue bigger, better things. All right, so trust, take that leap of faith. Um, love is definitely in the air, no doubt about it, and it's leading to a twin flame connection. Both aspects see that, um, and that's what you desire to manifest into your life. So very beautiful. Okay, so I do hope this helps. If you want to leave a comment um, in the comment section below, I'll, I'll definitely read those. Um, so this is not going to be for the public. It's only for those of you who have purchased the reading. So, pe you know, feel, feel free to express yourself and yeah. So, and thank you so much for your support guys. I absolutely love you. All right. Cheers.